Hey you guys, my name is Aparna from my small boutique studio in Bangalore. I create the most beautiful wall plates. Um, so they look like these. These are all hand lettered and hand painted. Um, so as gallery walls become a rage, I get asked this question a lot, which is basically how do you make a wall plate set up like that? Um, and then how do you choose plates that go together as a set? So today I thought, you know, why not take you through my process uh, and break it down into really, really simple steps. So, hop right on. Step one, zone in on your wall. Now wall plates are so versatile, you can have them in your living room, by the couch, the cabinet, framing a doorway, in the dining room, the kitchen, or even at the entrance. You see, these guys are so versatile that it always helps to pick a wall so you know how many you'd need. Step 2. Pick out your favorite colors. I know this sounds rather intuitive, uh, but it's a step that if you miss can cause a lot of confusion. Especially because we can have multiple favorite colors. Um, so instead of thinking of it like I like a red or I like a green, how about you think of it as what are my favorite color combinations? Reds, for instance, go really well with blacks and whites. Grey looks spectacular alongside yellows and blues. Black, I love teaming with white, yellow and even a tinge of gold. For royal blue, a delicate white. Now remember, what you're creating is art. There are no rules. It's a space that's personal to you and reflects your aesthetics. I've sometimes mixed the most random colors and have loved the output. At this stage, I'd like to mention that don't be scared uh, to play around with sizes because different sizes add so much more depth and drama to your composition. While same sizes create symmetry, no particular piece will draw in your focus. So if you're looking for impact and not uniformity, play with sizes. Step three, readying your plates for the wall. Now the easiest way um, to define how your plates are going to look like on the wall is to just lay them out on the floor. Uh, this will help you visualize how they're going to actually look like on the wall. Try various layouts on the floor. Once you have a favorite combination, click a picture. This will serve as reference. I then trace the outlines of each plate onto paper. I cut them out so they now serve as template. Next, I tape these cutouts onto the wall. These will help us see exactly how our plan setup is going to be. And then easy peasy, drilling and hanging. So I hope you found today's video useful and informative and fun. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach me at Milestones, uh, handcrafted with love. Uh, so that's the HWL. And I look forward to hearing from you. Ta-da!